I'm Vin Walkup. I'm one of the retired clergy of the Tennessee Conference and have served as a delegate to General Conference several times and on the commission for General Conference since, uh, up until 2012. Um, the three of us are here to, uh, to talk about our roles as facilitators at the listening session and share some information about the history and how we got to this point and what's uh, the plan going forward. I'm Lynn Hill, also retired clergy uh, of the Tennessee Conference, been to General Conference four times, currently serve on the Commission on General Conference and, and chair the, the program committee. I'm Tom Laney, I'm an elder in the Tennessee Conference and I serve in the role of director of the Turner Center for Church Leadership and I had the privilege of being the moderator at two of the listening sessions which the delegates uh, hosted, uh, six total, to listen to members of our conference and hear their thoughts, concerns, hopes, fears uh, related to this upcoming call general conference. We probably ought to point out that there was another uh, facilitator uh, that was not able to participate right. because of emergency, mm -hmm. Garlinda Burton. And I think Garlinda would have created the same kind of atmosphere of acceptance and, and safe safe place, but I, I think it's important that uh, the conference, that whoever watches this video knows that it's not just old white men <laughs> that, were, that were doing this, yeah. but I do, I, I think that, I think one of the reasons, you know, they've said at least to us that they were asking us to do these roles was that there's a perception that we can create uh, that calmness that calm presence, uh, and yet at the same time, we've all been in leadership roles. And so being confrontational and adversarial is not necessary for leadership. I think that's what our delegation is modeling, that they're wanting to hear and for people to know what you just said, that, that they have a real passion for the church mm -hmm. and for the church to go forward. and and. I'm, I'm hopeful that others have joined us in praying not only for our delegation, but for the delegates from all over the world who are gathering in St. Louis. The whole issue of homosexuality in the United Methodist Church really began in 1972, and it's been debated in every general conference, which is every four years since 1982, and there have been some minor changes to that, uh, to that particular piece of, of the Book of Discipline, but, but in the last several years, it's gone virtually unchanged. In 2016, uh, the United Methodist Church General Conference uh, was on the verge of uh, schism, and the General Conference realized that, and uh, something that they did not want to see happen was the church split. And so the delegates of the 2016 General Conference asked the Council of Bishops to really provide leadership in creating a way of keeping the United Methodist Church together. And so the Council of Bishops decided to put together a commission uh, of 32 members, as I believe, uh, from all over the world, uh, from various types of theological backgrounds and understandings. And the, that, co that commission is known as the Commission on the Way Forward. And their responsibility was to create a way a plan of keeping the church together and they've been meeting since 2016 and so um, because of that uh, listening sessions were, were created across the annual conferences to to see what might be the way that the church could stay together three plans uh, three major plans came out one the traditionalist plan uh, one the one church plan and the other the connectional conference plan and so each of these have their own, uh, own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, and recently, uh, a request was made by the Council of Bishops that the Judicial Council uh, review all three of these and make a determination as to the constitutionality of each of the petitions contained within the, the three plans. The Judicial Council ruled that the One Church Plan basically is, is constitutional except for three sentences or partial three sentences 
uh, the traditionalist plan, the, the number of issues uh, constitutional-wise with that plan, and then the, the connectional church plan they didn't deal with because that would require a number of constitutional amendments. So uh, it's been a long journey uh, from 1972 to 2016, and uh, that's where we are. <laughs>